these are 2020 seniors. They're coming into their senior year as we're shooting this in 2019 in the summer. And uh, from left to right, we have Ryan Schrank. In the middle, Evan Lind. To the right, Ryan Colby. And you guys are part of history here this year. This is our 50th season. There's been two head coaches during those seasons. We've had Jack Evans and Jeff Evans. And just wanted to get your feeling coming into the year knowing that you're uh, going to be playing in the 50th year. Ryan. Um, I'd say it's quite an honor. I mean, 50 years is a while, so I feel pretty honored to be playing for a team that has this much history. Yeah, yeah and having two coaches is crazy over 50 years where you know that they've had all this experience with the same program. So being able to be a part of that for our senior year is nice. It's really amazing. Yeah, like these two said, uh, <coughs> being a part of such a historical program has been an honor. And just over 50 years, having two coaches is incredible, like Evan said. And this year's going to be fun. Well, with that rich history and the coaches, when you guys come into the gym, um, is there an aura about it for you guys? Do you guys still feel that? Are you aware of that? Um, are you aware of the history at all? Um, yeah, when I come in here, I sometimes like see all those the conference championships and all those numbers and awards up there and stuff, and kind of. It's a good feeling that this it's been around for so long and has all these all, has had all this success. Yeah, seeing like all the banners and the championships and the state championships we've had, it's while we haven't completed one like in our recent history, we know what we've been able to accomplish here at Jefferson, and that that's what we have to live up to, and we have to compete harder than we've harder than we've had to to get to that same spot. Yeah, seeing all the numbers up here every day at practice just motivates motivates the team, I feel, to work harder and try and get your year up there on the state championship wall. And with, with the hard work, um, I know when I came in in 91, 92, and I was Jeff's assistant with the sophomore crew, one of the things I learned from Jack and Jake was the hard work that they put in. I mean, their practices were a lot harder than some of the ones I had in college. And the commitment to that, was that an adjustment for you guys coming in when you uh, first experienced the varsity practice? Uh, I definitely say it was an adjustment. I wasn't expecting it to be as intense and as, rig as rigorous as it was, um, but I, I definitely liked it and was glad I got to experience it because um, it's a good thing to, to experience. Yeah, going from a sophomore practice where you're with all your friends you played your whole life with, basketball with your whole life, it's crazy how much hard, like more like hard workers that the varsity and JV players are because they know how they have, or how hard they have to compete to or work to compete at this level, and they have to have that mentality every practice. Yeah, switching from sophomore practice to varsity practice is it's a tough transition. You have to get in shape fast. Um, yeah, you have to work. It makes you see how hard you have to work to get to that next level every day in practice. The word preparation, tell me what comes to mind when you do that. Um, I'd say not only physical like practicing but also mental like you know knowing the plays everything like defensive strategies everything that you go through in practice not only do you have to be physically ready but you have to be sharp mentally in order to perform at your best yeah the first uh, before we get to our games and we only have like maybe one 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 or two a week before a conference play that's a lot of preparation because everybody's not in their basketball shape yet and there's a lot of running you have to do to get to that and it's crazy how much of a difference you can make between the beginning of the year to the end of the year. But then mentally, knowing every, like every play and what you should be doing in walkthroughs and actually knowing how to run every single thing right so that once you get to the game, you don't have to think about it and you just know it is a big part of preparation. Yeah, preparing is not only knowing your plays as well, also knowing the other plays, scouting them on video, running them in practice against the other team, and that gets you prepared as well. When I uh, say this commitment to community, we'll start with you, Ryan Colby. Commitment to community, what comes to mind when you hear that? Well, you like to play well in front of your community, and you see the stands, and you see all the fans coming, and you don't want to let them down, and you want to be committed and play hard in front of them. Yeah, um, like Evs would say to us that there's no names on the back of our jersey, just uh, Jefferson or Jaguars on our front, and it's... That's who we really have to be committed to is for each other and our team and our school as a whole and not just for ourselves. When I think of community, I think of kind of what these two said, like um, you can't do anything by yourself uh, on basketball. Everything comes from the team. So if you think you can, you're mistaken and you have to 
work with all the other, all the other players to, uh, to accomplish what needs to be done. Consistency. The bar is set high here. An average season over the course of 50 years is 70% winning percentage. Mm -hmm. and we never talk about winning very much. When you think of consistency, what goes into that, Evan? Well, consistency is being able to continue to perform at the rate, or rate we're expected to and not being, and if we have like a game that we're expected to win, not just like lollygagging around, we have to go out there and perform. And when we have to perform up to a higher level, we have to perform where we know we can and not just give up on any certain scenario. Um, when I think of consistency, I think of, you know, those teams that you should beat every time you should never lose to them, like come to practice, um, prepare, know their plays, know everything, and then do, um, uh, get what needs to be done on the court and just, just keep going. Because if you lose to those teams, that's something you can't do. Yeah, consistency is a big part of basketball. You want to stay consistent in your day-to-day -day routine. You want to just keep doing the same stuff that you've been doing. You want to keep beating teams that you've been beating in the past and just keep the same work ethic that you've had to keep that consistent. Uh, your senior year now, every Christmas we have an alumni game, and the alumni game, the majority of those guys come out. When you guys see that, what, what goes through, what's the thought you guys may have when you see all those guys come back? Um, well, all those guys that come back, they're all, they're all super nice and energetic, and you know they really, they really like the Jefferson basketball program, because if they didn't, they probably wouldn't be back, and that's why so many of those guys returned, because they had such a good time here, and, Hopefully that can be me too someday. Yeah, it's crazy seeing how many people are at, come back for all these during like, or like during the holiday like week where they could just be with their families and be off with their friends. It's like crazy to see they'll come back and they want to see all their friends and their coaches that they used to that used to play for because of how much Jefferson basketball meant to them. Yeah, they obviously had a great time here, maybe a great run of success at this place, and they want to come back and relive part of it, and just, they're all great guys, and yeah, I'd want to be there playing with them one day. Yeah, you think of the heritage, we talked about the numbers on the walls and that kind of stuff, what, what, uh, what, what, what do you guys think about with that, with the success, and Coach Jack Evans starting off, and the state titles, and um, does any of that play into your efforts or preparation? I mean, I'd say yeah, because I mean, that's a lot to live up to. We, we had a lot of success back then, and it's it just reminds us that we need to keep working hard to be able to com to compete at that level and accomplish those things. Yeah, like as Ryan said, it's a lot to live up to. So being able to have being expected to play at that or play at that level is it's a lot to live up to, and we have to make sure that we give everything we can to get there. Yeah, we got to come in every day and work as hard as we can, not take a day off. Uh, yeah, because we want to add our year up there. When you uh, look back at, at this year, I want you guys to think in your head now, one thing that doesn't have to do with basketball, but has to do with making you a better person or a better teammate or a better person in the community. What's one thing you're going to try to bring to the team this year? Um, I'd, I'd say be more disciplined, do the things that you have to do. I mean, even when no one's really telling you to, but you know they have to be done. And um, just keep doing those types of things because that really helps. That would really help during the season. Um, like performing in the classroom because we're student athletes, so we can't be only, only thinking about basketball because we, our education comes first. So we have to make sure we're performing everything right in the classroom, in the class on time, and not having things like interfere with our practice either like with missing tests and what not what not and having tardies like you have to make sure you get all that done in the classroom and then you can focus on basketball when you get here yeah i'd say communication would be mine uh communication is important on the basketball court but also outside of the basketball court as well talking to your teachers talking to your family your friends about how life is going what you can do better in life yeah Kevin, you have any questions?